Hey everybody. Hey everybody. So today, so today we are going to I work, going to work with a really very, very simple I love um, appetizer. Uh, the first time um, I saw it, I was in Italy. That um, is super seasonal, great for the Christmas table, great for having family. people over for holidays. Uh, it's known as Puntarella. Um, so just super approachable. You so go to the market, I don't have really a lot of ingredients here. Like it's it's very, very straightforward. So what I have here is some beautiful, leaves, beautiful right? buffalo mozzarella. There's two balls in this package. Um, so it's I like eight ounces, green each ball is bitter, it's really good for you. What the liquid also, in here is called very red. unique. So I like to call it winter um, asparagus. I open one, when you start to break into the center. I have it in this container. So if you only you use one, beautiful make sure that you store the other one in the asparagus looking to have for later. Green so shoots green. coming out. The way is great, don't throw it away. Yeah. You can use it to make polenta. That's a Look very this. traditional Gorgeous. technique. You can also so raise meat in What I have is quite delicious. It used to be a safe water. Some already clean, in a time where water was salted not anchovies. Okay. Um, I have some really forward. beautiful pomegranates I from have, friends' trees. You can see they split boat. open. They're really Sauce. ready to go. So they brought me some pomegranates. Two cloves of garlic. They have beautiful toasted pistachios. These a are Sicilian pistachios. I just toasted them with a little of bit of olive oil and salt. A little bit of black pepper. I have the key is, is a, an extra my beautiful olivestri uh, uh, olio is nuovo, you right? Which is from Petrignano Milano. Really familiar. Really familiar beautiful. Into a really um, super excited. And this is what it looks like when you it's shake it up. See how really, it's really fun. So really cloudy. There's two tools. Rich. There's the one that you may have. Um, I have some Jacobson salt. Really easy to work with, right? Really simple. And then this is a little bit of black pepper, which will be fresh ground. Um, and then so it's piano kicker is going to be a little bit of uh, pomegranate molasses, molasses, right? It's going to give it a little tie bit in more we, we can uh, run acidity it through here, so I won't to need to add in uh, acid to the dish. Uh, this will we're going to start. Acid. We're going to so, use a little pint container. Really straightforward. Not a lot yeah. of work to do. A mortar and pestle. Um, I have a bowl that I'm going to present in. Okay. Mashing up the garlic and the anchovies with uh, to make a paste so, to then. I'm going to move my bowl to the side. Container with I'm going to remove zest and extra virgin olive oil. My the other thing that we're going to need that's really important: a bowl of ice water. Mozzarella. Bowl of ice water is really important from when we start the to cut. Liquid. Now, I let this come to temp. Put it in this, plunge it in Let it sit out for a little bit. It hasn't been sitting out for hours. It's been sitting out for like a good 15 minutes because I want it to come to temperature so when the guests have it, when it has a nice mouthfeel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area that and then we're going to rest naturally. So there's a flat spot here. I'm going to find that area. So I'm going to pull off my What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut it. Let me show you how this works. So, I've got this. so there's four sections, but it's going to bloom start like this. Um, um, push just bloom open like a flower in the bowl. Okay, okay. so I'm going to cut it, not all the way through, pull it three quarters of the way through. Okay, okay. as you can this see, the cream on the knife isn't that beautiful? Okay. This is like the craziest part. So like, how now do you get these old fashioned tools. Clean off my board. Oh, there we go. Bring and then it cuts it in these little julienne strips. Look at so that. it seems like this. Think about that. So pushing it through now, it's really important Simple. when you get this, right? There's two sides. Now this allows right? me There's to make it so that I want to guess this can share. Side. And then I pull it. It's tough with the lighting. Okay. It just makes now it awesome. Curls. I have pepper, doesn't go salt, salt greens, easy. toasted pistachios, pomegranates, and water. pomegranate and molasses. How is this all going to come together? So I'm, looking I'm going to take nice some of my salad. pistachios. So These have been toasted in olive oil. And I'll show Not you the oil, right? right? So okay. there's this. And I'm just going to lightly the chop them. Fashion way, which before I found this tool, I used to hand julienne. Okay. I want different the textures. Thing. It's okay if they're different sizes. They don't all need to be uniform. Okay, and I want a little bit more here. So there's a million ways to use this punterelli. You don't have to have the specific tool, but see, I just julienned it, and that'll That's go it. straight in that water too. That's it. Use the knife twice. Make sure you plunge it. That's what makes really it important to get it okay. submerged. So if you don't get it submerged, you're not going to have that nice curl that we're looking for. So, so what I'm trying to do is make sure I have a nice mix of the I'm beautiful for the exterior leaf, and then we're going to work on the next section. So I'm going to cut okay. it again. There you have it. Pistachios in the center of the bowl. Now, what I want is this beautiful these greens pomegranate. Great, so they're just going to sit there. They're, the ice water is going to extract some of that bitterness, but at the same time, it's going to These pomegranate seeds okay. are going to add a brightness. Yeah. Um, we're going to leave a texture. Beautiful. I'm really excited like, because this is so is fresh. Okay, so and first off, I need to I'm just going to drop them out. Okay. Now, and as you, you say, see, this is not like a traditional salad. Cool. 
So this is more yeah, of like so a the shared. Will come off. I save all the leaves. Don't get uh, the leaves. And like now, a cheese appetizer or just something really to get everybody excited. Or you know what? You can even finish your meal with this, which actually I would probably use this as a finish Ooh, for a This is going to be interesting. Let's see, split it in half. It just depends on where you're from. So Some people like cheese as first course. I've ever had to like tools, it as their so dessert. I'm very excited. I prefer cheese as my dessert over my work. Um, knowing my luck, over it's an not appetizer because I find cheese to sometimes be a little filling, I need is an and I think it could uh, overpower yeah, the rest of the meal. But so, I want to make sure I have a nice balance of texture in there. Oh, the acidity. Work. I'm so going to come from these beautiful. These I are gorgeous. They're like white See? and like pink, so we're gonna but go they're really juicy. Way. Now, when I say okay, you can do this is it. I mean, or nice. These are gorgeous. So if I'm to do it by hand, I'm just gonna take it. So delicious. Like okay. Nice. So nice now that I have it in the bowl, as you can see here. Now, another thing, if you don't add it to that view salt here, water, it is going to disappear. In here we have, okay, so what I have here now is this beautiful the cheese head, the pomegranates, the pistachios. That's it, it so far. So now, okay. I need a little bit of oh, salt. You're amazing. So what I'm going to do is utilize this. Just a little nice coarse okay. flake salt. Cut it in half. Um, I like to use the Jacobson it's salt because it has a nice feel, Making not sure only on the finger, it. so you know how much you're and using, but also on the palate. Put this on top of the bowl. A little bit of black Shaving pepper. Ribbons. Don't go crazy, but it has a nice tropical note to it when it's ground fresh. So you see. Okay. Now you say to yourself, in there, why a little bit thicker? molasses? Because it's and got such as I get a to a certain point. Flavor. So I turn what I'm going to do is I do this. This is my house, so I'm doing this. That, I can get. If it's your house, you can do it too. Really Just don't do the rest of the So here we go. A little okay. drizzle of molasses. Okay. That's gorgeous. Okay. So I'm going to okay. drop that in this ice water, and then I'm going to finish it with this nice. History water. has its place, but sometimes maybe the newer tools are a little better, or the good old fashioned. A great knife and uh, your skill set. So, and now I'm just gonna julienne it. You see this in the markets usually November to February, um, pretty short season, and just really creates a beautiful. And that's it. Set. It's not much. Now, it's very simple. This it's can very also elegant. Be this is a really beautiful like way raw to have the cheese. And I want so what I like to do with this in particular, uh, uh, serve it with a fork and a knife. This doesn't need bread. If you want bread, go bread. for it. But for so, me. When this is all about some bitter green. You're gonna so, want a there you have it. Stringent or pungent mozzarella de buffalo. A little nacho, bit of pomegranate, pomegranate molasses, Sicilian pistachios, and olio nuovo. Smelling out the intensity. So see what I just did here. And that's there all gonna go in this bowl. Have a great day. That's it. Really important. Take off those little buds at the end. Okay. So what I'm gonna do first, I have my two garlic cloves in there. I have my anchovy right here. So this is actually, uh, what I have is these salted anchovies here. So what I do is I soak them, remove the excess salt, peel off the fillets, making sure there's no fins or bones. And this right here is three full anchovies that have had the bones and everything removed. So I'm gonna add that in there. Okay. And notice I'm taking my time here. I'm not going crazy. Now, the key is I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to help give it some coarse, a little uh, Jacobson. Now, as soon as I put that garlic in, with the anchovy and the salt, I don't have to smash it, now I can spin it. Because the actual, the key part is now is the salt has become an abrasive. So I have this marble mortar and pestle. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you don't need to do it this way. You can easily paste it out with the side of a knife. You can put it in a, like a, a Roboku if you choose. I just find that a mortar and pestle gives me uh, a little bit more consistent and I just like the old fashioned way. Don't like anchovies, just do garlic and lemon. Do use a little dab of fish sauce. It's really so what I'm trying to make here is a really, really harmonious paste. I don't want it to be too chunky. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the zest, zesting into the mortar and pestle. I'm capturing all those natural oils. Okay, so I am ready to transfer this paste, which I'm gonna show you, to my pint container here. Really straightforward. 
make sure that you get all of it. What I try to do is collect it all into one area. Here's that paste in here. It's not really appetizing looking, but it makes a great dressing. Now in this pine container, I already have the lemon zest, the garlic, and the anchovy. You saw me paste that out, right? So I'm gonna add black pepper. Don't be afraid of black pepper, but always use fresh. Never use pre-ground. So what I have here is really beautiful extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. Just because I zested the lemon doesn't mean it's it's uh, it's broken all the cell structure inside. What I'm looking to do now is roll it, break all the walls. Okay. Okay, I will juice up. Okay, by juicing up, it'll capture the seeds in here. And I can see not only am I getting all the juice, but as I'm squeezing it, the natural uh, oils are dropping in as well. And I can see the change in color inside. And in, close my top. Notice I didn't add any salt because of why I already have the salt. I have salt from my anchovies. I have salt from making the mash. So what am I gonna do next? We're gonna take this dressing. That looks really good. Salad spinner. Have to have a salad spinner. The thing about when I was in Italy is that they would have all this done, so people wouldn't have to do this at home. Um, there would be, all the ladies would be there, um, literally trimming punterella, cutting it uh, with the punterella cutters into a bucket of ice water, um, and then people would come and buy it. They would weigh it without the water, and then they would put it in a bag with water for them to take home so it wouldn't oxidize. Such a cool thing. It's nice and cold and crisp. Now, I will need a little salt, but I still haven't added my red boat, and you're wondering when and where. So I take the red boat fish sauce, okay? And I just put a little dab in here, and it's not a ton. It's a, it's a dabble, and I don't want too much. I want it to give it the umami that I'm looking for. It helps accentuate the anchovy, but it also uh, rounds out the palate on the, the vinaigrette. Okay. Ooh, this smells great. The dressing has a very intense aroma, which I'm really excited about. So, black pepper. A little bit of salt. Now I'm gonna have to get in here. As you can see, everything curled. Okay, it's like nice and twisty. It wants to hold to itself. Now what I need to do is give it a, a test. Mm. The bitterness has toned out. It's equalized because I have a lot of lemon, like the garlic, I have the anchovy. Um, really, really beautiful balance. I didn't add that much dressing. It doesn't need much more, you know? So I'm gonna just... To have something refreshing, uh, you can serve it with a piece of fish. You can serve it as its as its own as an antipasti, uh, but really, really beautiful. So there's a couple things I need to do to finish. This is why I saved this. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna finish with a little black pepper and a fine drizzle of olive oil. Make sure you clean the rim. And there you have it. Punterella salad, really classic, very traditional. If you see this in the market, don't be afraid. Give it a try. Really, really just delicious. So there you have it. Punterella salad with an anchovy and lemon vinaigrette.